All right, this tutorial is gonna teach you how to create a variable called score. And every time you press a button, like add, it'll plus one to the score. And every time you hit the subtract button, it'll minus one to the score and be displayed in this box right here. So I've got a few entities on here already. I've got um, the scoreboard, which is just a text box, um, which is set as dynamic text, as you can see here. And it's called scoreboard. Um, and if we look over here, we've got another button called add BTN. This one's called sub BTN. Um, that's pretty much it. Okay, now what we're gonna do is create the actions that will allow these buttons to work because at the moment, nothing happens. Um, so if you click on the actions layer up the top here, by the way, you can download this uh, .fla um, from in the description of this video um, or you can get it from Sector if you're using this uh, at school. Anyway, um, go to the actions layer, press F9. Um, and this is where we're gonna type in our actions. So uh, the first thing we're going to do is put in our stop command because we don't want this to spam itself. Um, and then we're going to make a variable called score. Um, so var score and the type of um, numbering system it's going to be is int, um, which is sort of the default uh, scoring method. And you're going to say equals zero. Um, so what we've done is we've made a variable called score it is scoring in the method using int and its default value is zero. Um, and now what we need to do is change the score based on a button click. Um, and so we're gonna add an event listener for the add button. So add btn, as we saw it before, dot add event listener, open bracket. So mouse event, cause we're clicking on it, dot click. And now we're going to give it a handler name and we're going to call this add click and close the bracket semicolon. Um, now we need to make a function that is paired with this listener. So function add click, same as our other handler as we saw before. Um, and it's going to be an event, a mouse event, make it void as usual. Um, and now open parentheses, close parentheses, and now we put what we want to happen in the middle. So on press, what we want uh, is the score to equal the score plus one, semicolon. So the original score, which in this case is zero, equals the score plus an additional one. Um, and the reason why I've done it like this is so that the next time we click, um, it'll add on to the original score. So the first click will make it one, the second click will make it two, et cetera, et cetera. Um, but at the moment the score is adding, but we can't see it. So what we need to do is make the scoreboard, which is this one back here, also display the number that we've got saving in the background. So press enter just here. Um, and underneath this, we're gonna write scoreboard, which is the name of um, that instance behind that I just looked at then, dot txt, uh, text, sorry, equals, um, and then we're gonna write two um, talking marks here. So uh, the reason is you can have like a message. So for example, we might write score in those talking marks and then write plus score dot two string. So score to string means we're putting the score into a string, which is a way in which you save text. Um, so we're putting the score um, into this text string and we've got the word score before it. Um, and I'll show you what this looks like now if I press X and press control enter. Um, if we hit add, you'll see it says score one and it'll just keep adding on score two, score three, score four. So if you wanna make some kind of text appear, um, you could put in full colons or whatever. So go back here. Um, you might wanna make it say score like that. Um, and so if you look at that now, you can see that it has like full colon Okay, so you can put in whatever syntax you want there, um, but most of you probably just want the number to be displayed. So what we're gonna do is just delete all this and just have the talking marks there with nothing in it. And that'll just make the number pop up by itself. Okay, I'm not gonna bother showing you that and I'll show you that next time. Um, what we wanna do is add a subtraction option as well. So go back to our action script, press F9. Um, and what we're gonna do is copy this stuff right here. Don't need to change the variable or the stop or any of that. Press control C, press control V. Um, now that you're starting to get a little bit 
um, complicated in terms of what's going on here, it's a good idea to start commenting your code. So um, what you might wanna do is click up here, press enter once or twice, hit two forward slashes and write, uh, this is my add code, you know, adds the score. A bit of a description for yourself, whatever you want. And you might wanna copy that and stick it down here and say, this is my subtraction code. So um, this won't get read by Flash. This is just there for you when you're coming through and having a look at it later. And you can tell because it's grayed out. Anyway, um, we're gonna change this. We know that, uh, where is it? That's the add button. This is the sub button, as we can see there, sub BTN. So what we are gonna do is change this one here to sub SUV. And it's not gonna be add click, it's gonna be sub click. And the function is gonna be called sub click, of course, because we just called it that there. And instead of it being score equals score plus one, it's gonna be score equals score minus one. Um, leave this bottom one here, uh, how it is, that's fine. Uh, then press on the X. And if we test this, control enter, we hit add, it's plusing one to the score, as you can see. And if we hit subtract, it's gonna minus as well. Okay, there we go. So we've got buttons that can add and subtract to score. Um, and then of course you could create all kinds of things like if statements that uh, are based on whatever a score is, then it'll do something else. Uh, but we'll do that in another tutorial. Thanks for watching.